Hi everybody, this is Chilisa. Thank you so much everybody for coming back to my channel. Thank you so much if you're listening in the podcast. Today I'm going to speak about the recent resignation for both uh, Miss Teen USA and Miss USA. They both resigned within two weeks and there's a lot to talk about guys. But before I continue, I want to say thank you so much for subscribing to my channel really means a lot thank you for everybody who listens on the podcast specifically everybody who's listening from spotify thank you so much for listening and answering the questions that i put there thank you so much for following me on spotify also everybody who listens on the apple podcast don't forget to join the subscriptions and thank you so much everybody who listens and watches on youtube um really means a lot to see you guys subscribing and interacting i gotta get to the youtube comments though just gotta give me more time for that so before like i said um i have said this many times before you guys 2024 is the year of exposure and we know there's a lot this year i mean it's just may 10 today there's a lot already that has been revealed okay and for a lot of the cases that have become very popular uh for you know already uh five months into the year we can see that not everything is as as we see you know there's a lot of um misconception there's a lot of things that are you know um deception too you know people live different lives i also believe a lot of the times on social media you think um, that you're seeing the true self of somebody and a lot of the times people are just playing a character, you know, mm-hmm. they're doing it for likes, they're doing they're doing it, um, you know, just to have a positive outlook. Um, but, uh, you know, nobody's going to post on Instagram that they're suffering from whatever the, it is, right? Everything is the perfect life. And I think in 2024, that's definitely being uh, exposed because, you know, it's nobody can lie for that long right everything is being exposed and it comes at times in your life where you have to face whatever the struggle that you're dealing with at some point in your life you have to be strong enough to just face it because if you don't it's just going to continue so like i said today i'm going to speak about the recent news that we heard from the um you know the pageants uh the miss usa pageant and also um the misting usa so let me just read to you guys this article because um it's a lot that has been said about these uh, these two contestants and winners right of the of the uni uh miss usa misting former miss uh usa noelia boy didn't know that misting was also going to resign that's what they're saying they're both it's so crazy how kind of like they 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 both came to the same conclusion right and if anything you can learn so much from looking at this right we know that people who participate in pageants these beautiful ladies they go through a lot you know it's not an easy thing there's a lot you know not only do they have to come and win in their town their state they have to participate just to get to the top right and to get the boats and there's a lot of training involved and it's it's a lot of um it's a lot of it takes a lot of discipline not physically only but mentally right and it's a lot of work a lot of people are involved in this you just see just one person modeling the beautiful dress but behind all of that it involves a whole group of people and when you are in a in a pageant representing your state or representing your town whatever right you you know you feel so responsible for everybody right so if you lose it's basically the entire people the the entire team behind you loses and for these two winners okay we're speaking about people who reached the top these two winners to come out within two weeks and say they're giving up their titles they're resigning that says a lot about the state of pageant i guess you can say right now and it says a lot about life itself right you know it's it's kind of hard to explain but it's when you 
all you've done is basically you train yourself. Like I said, you have people backing you up. You have people who spend their time. There's, they sponsor you. They pay for you to attend. They, they pay for you to get whatever it is that you need, dresses, all of that, right? And you're backed up by your community and you actually win. And for them to not even um, finish their course, right? Not even finish and, com- and finishing up what they work so hard to achieve. That's what I'm trying to say. He says a lot. There's a lot about the story that's going to come out, I believe. You know, there's more to just these two winners resigning and giving up their titles, I believe. And 2024 is the year of exposure. And that tells you a lot of the times people, you know, we only see the pretty face smiling, walking down the aisle, right? And getting the crown and, you know, being declared the winner and all of that. And you don't know what these people go through. Um, once that camera is shut off, we think that everything is happy. You know, they they have people who do their hair and makeup. They have people who sponsor them. They, they invited to red carpet events, fashion week, everything you can think of. And for these two women to be like, uh, yeah, not so much, um, says a lot. And I feel like it's going to be exposed. Whatever it is is going, is happening behind closed doors in these pageants is going to be exposed this year. And this is just the start. If you're telling me that you have people under them, right, that perhaps are coming out and saying, you know, I should have never participated. There were things that I saw that I didn't like. But when you have title holders saying, here's your crown, here's your title, thank you so much, but not so much, you know, like I'm giving up on this. It says a lot of whoever is managing this whole organization. Um, But we know, let me just read to you briefly. Former Miss USA 2023 Noella Boy didn't know that Miss Teen USA 2023 Uma Sofia was also resigning. While speaking, um, they say that yesterday they were both together at an event. These people were saying they look both so happy and so relieved, right? So the resignation came early this week and late last week. And yesterday um, they were at an event and they... You know, they look very relieved and stuff, right? It says here, actually, I didn't know that she was going to do that. So it was surprising that she says nothing, that the two are very close. We are at an event together last night, and we're both feeling incredible, optimistic about the future and what holds f- for us individually and together. Wow. So it's so crazy. Yeah, that would take somebody by surprise when you're together. You know, you're both title holders, right? You you get to talk to each other at an event. Nobody says anything regarding the situation. And then the next day, it's like, oh, yeah, the, you know, I'm also going to resign. That's very strange. Um, the New Jersey team says here, Uma, I think that's, excuse me. Um, Uma Sophia said, she's, She's Miss Teen USA, or was Miss Teen USA. She announced on an Instagram post on Wednesday, May 9, two days after Miss USA did her announcement. The New Jersey team credited her choice as being as a result of her personal values, no longer fully aligning with that decision. So you have Miss Teen USA, 17-year-old, or Uma Sophia, saying that Miss... It's, she said that the New Jersey team uh, said that her personal values no longer fully aligned with the direction of the organization. Something was revealed, something that she saw here made her come to the conclusion that this is the best thing for her to do. And like I said, when she's only 17, right? I know she has, you know, um, her parents um, behind her, all of that, but you work so hard to get to that title and you know it's almost like not everything is being revealed here obviously she needs to be careful what is being said but in that in at that age you know it's not like she has like kids at home and you know a family um like like a husband things like that but i'm saying like for her to be that young right and reach that top and for her to say, you know, it's no longer as 
aligning with my personal values, that's very deep. And it says a lot about who she is as a person, who raised her also. And it says a lot about what's going on behind the scenes. You know, we can only speculate. That's why, you know, it makes you think, who, what else is going to come out of this? Are they going to do an investigation? What is going on? You don't have just like two people who, like I said, were like uh, sore losers or they saw something and, you know, but you have the top two basically saying, thanks so much, but we are resigning. That it's almost like there's something else going on here. And I, you know, I hope in the next couple of days we're going to get to know that, right? Um, so that's what she said. Miss Tina say, um, she, she was, um, she came from New Jersey, Miss Tina, New Jersey. Miss Ding USA, Yuma Sophia said on her Instagram that the organization no longer was aligning with her personal values, okay? And then Miss USA, and that's, I keep forgetting her name, Boy. Um, I think her, her name is Noelia, right? Noelia Boy said that she resigned uh, because of mental health, okay? Let me just see here. She said, there are so many things. This is what Miss USA said. There are so many things that I would love to explore. She says, my background in, in interior design. No, excuse me. Before I read that to you, it says here, she, they both posted this resignation on Instagram. She said, Noelia Boy said, I realized this might come as a large shock to many. Never compromise your physical and mental well-being. Our health is our wealth. A million thank you for all of you for your constant unwavering support. She said, uh, in life, I strongly value the importance of making decisions that feel best for you and your mental health. As individuals, we grow to experiencing different things in life that lead us to learning more about ourselves. And my journey as Miss USA has been incredible, meaningful, representing Utah with pride. And later at Miss Universe, sadly, she said, this is no alia boy, right? Uh, former Miss USA. She says, sadly, I have made the very tough decision to resign from the title of Miss USA 2023. I am grateful for the love and support of the fans and all the new, my family and friends and coaches, former state and local directors and darling beloved Miss Team USA, Uma Sophia, lifelong events and competing state pageants. Um, she says here, being fervent advocate for anti-bullying, doing dating violence awareness and prevention, immigration rights and reform and shut. Let me see. I think about the platform has given me a different, um, given me to make a difference, the feeling of achieving a lifelong dream and connecting with people all over the world, she says. So she said, basically, um, never compromise your physical and mental well-being. That's what Miss uh, Noelia Boy said. I thought in in a I thought in a different interview. I guess you can say she had mentioned something more in depth uh, as to what is the reason why she was really um, resigning. It says here. Prior to both of the resignations, another employee, okay, of the Miss USA organization, the social media director also resigned, uh, resigned her post. She claimed in a statement the, that the organization did not support her role or offer enough respect to title hold, holders. So, like I said, you guys, I just mentioned this. Something else is going to come out of the Miss USA organization because before the two top winners, right, the two title holders, Miss USA and Miss Teen USA, both resigned within days of, of each other resigning. Previous to that, very recent also, um, the social media director resigned. Um, the, she said that the organization did not support her role or offer enough respect for title holders. This is what she said. And I feel the way current management speak about title holders is unprofessional and inappropriate. There's something that is happening here behind closed doors. Don't get me wrong, guys. I am a fashion designer. I, uh, you know, I do 
a lot of fashion shows. So I get to see what goes on behind the scenes. Basically, you hear the comments when people do feelings and all of that. But when you're in fashion week, it's different because the designer makes the decision about the fitting, right? But when you have young contestants with all the pressure to please so many people, like I said, they go through an extensive training and all of that. For them to both resign after reaching, training so much to reach that and then resign. And then you have an insider, basically the social media director of Miss USA saying that she doesn't like how the title holders are being spoken of. Um, when you have that insider there coming out and saying that, something deep is happening here and I'm sure it's gonna be exposed. It's just a matter of time. It's not normal for both of these title holders to resign, like I said, and now we learn that also the social media director has also resigned very recently, that also happened very recently. This is crazy. I think it's just, it's one thing is going to lead to the nets. Um, already we have three big important people in the organization. I mean, are you kidding me? <laughs> Probably the two most important ones, which are the Miss USA and Miss Dean, both resigning. And the social media director, we know how social media is everything right now for an organization. Both, all, I mean, all three of them saying thanks, but not thanks says a lot about what goes on close behind closed doors here and i really hope it's being all of this is, is being brought to the surface for a reason it goes to show you not everything is as it seems okay you have to go deeper than the smiles a lot of times i see a lot of parents that use their young kids to say you know you want it you want it she's gonna be miss usa and all of that i'm not trying to devalue because I know a lot of people look up to being that. I'm not trying to devalue, but hear me out, okay? I'm almost done. You have to think about um, what, you know, what... Sometimes you think you want something, it's not what really you want, right? You know, have you ever prayed for something? You're like, I can't wait to have this. And when you have it, you're like, God, please remove that. Because, <laughs> I, I, you know, I made a mistake. That's why you always have to pray, let it be the will of God in my life. Because sometimes we think we know what we want, we really don't, right? Um, we have free will, but we also need guidance, right? A lot of the times I have prayed for things, opportunities, and then I'm like, oh, God, what, what was I thinking? Please, Lord, take remove that away from me, please. Um, a lot of the times when you see things like this and you, you know, you see the vanity, that's, you know, it's based on appearance, it's based on appearance. And when you deep, you know, you look down and it's like, are these people really happy? Because you can wear the most beautiful dress, most expensive dress, you have your entire city clapping you, right? Cheering you, you have money and all of that. But is that really fulfilling your role? Like, a, a, you know, as a human, do you really feel happy? Or is it all just vanity? I know this is hard thing to hear from a lot of people who are involved that involved in this. I am a fashion designer. I know, um, you know, I know that there is a lot of vanity, but God already worked on me through that, meaning that I cannot do a fashion show without sharing the gospel, right? That's that's what it's all about. And I also have to be careful what kind of clothing I present, right? Once you have a revelation, once the Lord is working on you, you cannot just continue to do the same thing. If God is giving you a revelation, it's for you to make a change, right? So all of this is just the beginning, guys. There's something bigger than this, something bigger that perhaps they, they're not saying. I don't know how long they're going to play around. This organization is going to play play around and try to hide it, pretending that that everything is handy dandy, everything is, you know, everybody's good. You just have the two biggest people, like winners in your organization, handing out titles, handing it back to you and say, thanks, but no thanks. Giving it all up after all that training, after all of that. 
there's something going on. Something needs to be investigated here. Let me know what you guys think about this. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel. Thank you so much for listening to the podcast. Have a good day. God bless.